What's up everybody? I hope the start of 2019 is one for you guys to remember already. Welcome to week two of our message series called Change. Now last week we talked about how prayer that starts and ends with God can bring real change to our lives. Take the next few moments and talk about some resolutions and changes that you want to bring into 2019. Some of you might be thinking, that's all great, but how do I pray? How should my prayer go? What should I say? Do I pray quietly or out loud? And if you find yourself wondering how to pray, I don't want you to feel discouraged. Praying sometimes can be difficult for anyone. Have you ever had a super awkward experience praying at dinner or at a small group or even with somebody in need? Don't worry, we all have, myself included. I can remember so many times being mid-prayer, not knowing what to say and stumbling over my words and repeating myself, and even having the occasional embarrassing puberty voice crack. I felt so defeated and down. Words are definitely hard for me. Now take the next couple of minutes and talk about a time when you didn't know how to pray. Have you ever been asked to pray in front of people? It can be so intimidating being put out on the spot and not knowing what to say, especially in front of people. But thankfully, the Bible gives us some insight to prayer and how to pray when we are intimidated by not knowing what to say. Now God steps in and gives us the words to say. The Bible is filled with scriptures and words that show us how to pray. Now that seems easy enough, but when you're in a situation where you need prayer and you need the words to say, it might be a little difficult and awkward just to rip out your Bible and search for the perfect word to say or the perfect verse. So what do we do? Now there are four simple steps to praying God's own words. Number one, we read it. Number two, we memorize it. Number three, we personalize it. And number four, we pray it. First, we have to read the word and figure out what we're going to be saying based on the situation we've got going on. Next, we've got to memorize it. Memorizing scripture helps us to remember God's word in the moment when we need them. In Psalms 119 verse 11, it says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. When we memorize scripture, we are hiding God's word in our heart for when we need it most. And it can be so easy for us to memorize certain verses or prayers, but we can't get lazy on memorizing God's word. Now, I remember a time when I was leaving a voicemail to my friend's parents, um, just trying to get some work set up, making a little extra money. And I remember saying, you know, hey, this is Isaiah. Uh, give me a call back on my number in Jesus' name, amen. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, Isaiah, you're not even praying. This isn't a prayer. I was so embarrassed. It was like I was on autopilot. When we are actively memorizing God's word, we turn off the autopilot in our faith. Next, we need to personalize it. Figure out how these relate to your situation or circumstance so that we can make it specific. For example, if you're struggling with anxiety, 2 Timothy 1.7 says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. Now to personalize it, you can say, for God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. And last, we pray it. Using God's own words, we pray quoting scripture. Because when we pray God's own words, we can better understand his will and his word better and remind ourselves of his promises in difficult times. In 2019, let's let God make lasting changes in our lives. Take the next few minutes to discuss how you can start to pray with God's own words and take a few moments to pray together. And remember, prayer equals change when you pray with God's own words.